BookTok, BookTube, Bookstagram, Lad Brooks, definitely not the last one. We got a major toxic positivity problem. I've been making book-related content for five years, so I, I promise you this problem has been there since I started, definitely come before, and it's just continuing, I think, to get worse. As with all these discussion videos, I'm going to link some people down below. I'd like them to further this conversation. Tell me if I'm wrong. Who cares? I don't know. When I say toxic positivity, I mean that we are overemphasizing the need to always be positive. They are creator after creator after creator who read 100, 200, 300. We're moving into like the bullshit territory here. 400, 500, 600 books a year, yet never say anything negative unless it benefits them. They are only going to dunk on books and authors that the audience deem acceptable to dunk on. You want to rag on JK Rowling 24-7? Absolute crack on. You want to say anything about any other book that's just come out? Hold up, kiddo! Why do you just let people enjoy what they want to read? And it's because the problem with toxic positivity is that this is really a gateway into what is called access journalism. You say positive things about the publishers, about the authors, about the books, you are more likely to get access to the content. The reason I think toxic positivity is getting worse is not because the type of content is changing. There have always been people showing books and vaguely talking about them. There has always been haul videos that because of beauty hauls that blew up like in the early 2010, the word haul is very like attractive in the algorithm. It's what gets pushed to people and people enjoy them because it's, it's a bit like window shopping. There's nothing wrong with that. The problem is it's becoming increasingly the norm because things such as book talk have allowed more people access to talk about the books and because they vaguely talk about the books and all they need to do is hold up the book i'm using spider-man for something for it's the closest book towards me because all they need to do is show the book they don't actually have to read it you can and i swear down it's way easier than you think all you gotta do is say vague niceties overtly praise and almost get on your knees and be like, please give me free stuff. Crudely, you could call it glorified begging. The knock-on effect that this has in the reading community is that negative reviews, unless they are deemed acceptable for some reasons, um, they're seen as these like dogmatic, spiteful, hateful, contrarians who are just like, rage baited. Like, I get multiple comments a week being like, you're jealous, you're just trying to rile people up, or simply, like, you're like you're being a contrarian for contrarian's sake. But, but, like, everyone has an opinion, and all opinions differ. I'm not saying that there's, like, an objective take on books. That's what, what I'm trying to get at. To simply put it, and it's somewhat wild to think that I actually have to state this, not everyone likes everything. You don't like everything that you engage with. That is just not how the world works. There's a few avenues that we could explore, such as the pressure from creators to enjoy everything, and then therefore you move into these vague banalities because they want the free stuff. They couldn't dare dream of paying 20 quid for a book like the rest of us schmucks. And therefore you have creators in a really weird way pandering to their audience, of whom they are never going to meet in real life. On top of this, you then have, like, the care and consideration for the author's sensibilities. Again, most of these people are never going to meet the authors. Like, it's just not going to happen. And guess what would happen if you meet them face to face? It's kind of like, like, I went to school and some people I didn't like. And if I see them when I go travel around Cardiff, you know what I do? I just ignore them. We just we just walk past each other. Like you're not going to be in a situation where you're stuck with this author who like can't believe that you said like any any negativity towards their book when in actuality they're used to it. Like anything that anyone produces, 
Not everyone is going to like. That's like, that's part and parcel of it. And it, it kind of sucks to be everyone at that point. Again, many attitudes. Like if you don't enjoy something, but you see the vast majority of people praising these works, it's a masterpiece. It's the greatest work ever. Best book of the year. Like it, you could feel like belittled, weary, invalidated, less confident in your own thoughts and opinions, which is kind of what all this is about. It, it's, it's meant to express your opinions despite what people think could talk about like the need for balance like you need to have the bad with the good in order to get like a, a 360 view of something that's boring equally boring is the throwaway distorting readers experiences and the fact that because everyone is saying positive thing you therefore enter the book only looking for the positive things like but again you do end up in a echo chamber of vague banalities. I don't think I'm being mean. Like, we, we all know. I don't even have to mention creators. You know the people. You know these people. You know these people. I don't have to name names. You know who they are. But the avenue that I think needs to be explored is honesty and authenticity. Because if the person, again, this is so wild that I have to say this because it's so common sense. If the person you're watching can only say positive things, they're not honest and they're inauthentic. You are going to have people who read the most popular books and think it was an absolute pile of garbage. You are going to get people who dunk on the most dunkable books possible and think they are the greatest pieces of work ever produced. Like, I'm not here to say that we need a well-rounded view of books and everyone's opinions are equal. What I'm saying is that how can you trust someone who thinks the way that you think that they should act? It's a, it's a ruse. It's a ruse. It's kind of like Deception 101. It's, hey, I know my audience will love it if I dunk on Harry Potter and therefore all I'm going to do is dunk on Harry Potter. I know everyone wants the the fourth wing. So I'm going to try and get a copy of fourth wing and say it's the greatest thing ever because I know the second book's coming out and I know the third book's coming out. So all I'm going to do is say positive things. Okay, I'm leaning into the hyperbolic. I don't think it's as nefarious as it is. This is Access Journalism 101. You constantly praise because at the end of the day, you want the thing in order to show other people. And that's all this interaction is. It's free cheap words for free cheap arcs. That is all it is. Talking about the book gives it exposure. It should not work the other way round. It shouldn't be the book giving people exposure. It should be the other way round. You're here to hear first, people.